What's up everybody? In today's video, I will explain how you can run open source LLMs like Llama 2, Mistral, Falcon, etc. on your local machine using Python library Llama CPP Python. Llama CPP Python is a wrapper around the C++ library Llama.cpp. Llama.cpp originally started as a LLM inference for Meta's Llama models with minimal setup on a variety of hardwares. Then over time, it was extended to include various open source LLMs. It even supports multi-model models that accepts images and text as input. So let's go ahead and use it to access LLMs on our local machine. I have kept the total code for this tutorial in Jupyter Notebook. And at the beginning of the notebook, I have highlighted important sections of this tutorial. So first of all, I will explain how you can generate text, generate response to particular query, how you can stream response, how you can pull model from hugging face and then we will also use some chat models and at last i will explain how you can generate embeddings in order to use llama cpp python you need to install it so simply execute pip install llama cpp python command and that will install llama cpp so this is the current version installed on my system in order to use uh, various open source llms with uh, llama cpp you need to download the quantized version of that models which end with gguf format so gguf is a llm community accepted format for quantized models and if you want to know the gguf gguf version of any model you can simply search on google with the model name and then gguf then it will take you to the page like it will list down various links where the gguf versions are available Generally on Huggies face the versions are available. So in our case, I am going to use Llama 2 uh, with 7 billion parameters and the chat version GGF. So you can go to this uh, URL and then you can go to files and versions. So over there, you should be able to see that there are many different versions, quantized versions of the same model. So Q2, Q3, Q4, Q5, 6 and so on. So there are 2 bit, 3 bit. 4 bit, 5 bit, and 6 and 8 bit quantization models. Here you can select uh, whichever model uh, you want to use. For our purpose, I have used this one q4ks.ggf. Uh, so you can simply click on this download button and download that uh, particular model. So I have already downloaded that model and kept it in my local, local computer. And it's in, kept in the same directory where I have kept this Jupyter notebook. So first of all, you need to import llama class from llama cpp and you need to create an instance of llm over there you need to provide model part so dot slash refers to current directory where i have kept this uh, q4ks gguf file and i have set verbose equal to false because it's generating many debugging messages so that's our llm now we can simply call this llm like a function so we can give query over there that uh, write a short paragraph introducing ln musk we can also specify maximum tokens so i have specified 256 and i have also specified stop uh, strings so generally these are instruct models which will keep on generating text so they are generally trained question answer question answer in a way so if you don't provide stop uh, strings they will keep on generating new questions and so on so this will the call to this function will generate a response which is a dictionary and as you can see this dictionary has uh, different information so it is saying that this is a text completion it is giving information about model and this choices key has the total text so inside of choices there is a list and inside of that there is a dictionary text where the response is present other than that, uh, the usage information is also available, like how many prompt tokens were there. So 17 prompt tokens were there. Completion tokens were 162. And total 179 tokens, which is completion tokens prompts plus prompt tokens. So you can retrieve the response by going through this path. Response of choices of 0, which is the 0th element. And inside of that text key, where the total text is present. So it's that simple to generate a text. Next, let me explain you how you can generate a streaming response. And this can be useful when you want to connect uh, Llama CPP Python with some uh, front-end library like uh, Streamlit or Gradio and want to show a typewriter kind of effect when the response is generated. So the process is pretty simple. 
the call to LLM is just like before. The only difference is that I have provided this parameter stream and set it to true. So now the response object is a generator. It's not a dictionary anymore. So the whole response won't be generated and written, but the generator object will be written. And then we can loop through this generator object and it have individual entry and individual entry is a token. So that's what I'm doing. I'm printing over here individual entries and the end parameter of print statement or print function by default is a new line. So I have set it to empty string so that it does not print each token on the new line. Next, let's talk about how we can directly download model from Hugging Face. So when I started this tutorial, at the beginning, I explained that we downloaded this model Llama to 7 billion chat from the Hugging Face website manually by clicking on this download button. But let's say that uh, you want to automate that process. So you can do that as well. And for that, you will need to install the Hugging Face Hub library, which is a library from Hugging Face. And this time when you download a model through the code, it will be downloaded in a Hugging Face uh, cache directory. So for our purpose, uh, I will use this uh, Mistral 7B GGUF. So again, we need to use a Llama class and then we need to call a from pre-trained function from it. And over there, we need to provide the repo ID. So this is the repo ID of Hugging Face. So this is the repo ID, the block slash Mistral 7B and 0.1.gguf. And over there, you need to provide file name as well. So over here, I have provided pattern that star and then q4 as.guf. So the file which ends with this particular string should be selected. But you can provide a full file name as well. If I go over here, as you can see, there is only one file by this name. So that will be selected. And uh, that file will be downloaded on your local machine. So that's the Mistral model. And then we can call it just like uh, our previous calls. So we can give query max tokens and parameter stop. And that will generate a response, which is dictionary, as you can see. So that's how you can download models from Hugging Face without manually downloading the model. Next, let's try conversational model, chat completion model. So the process is same of creating LLM. So from Llama CPP, I have imported Llama and the model path is again current directory where I have kept the Llama to uh, 7 billion model chat, uh, chat model. So that's how you can create an instance. And once you created instance, you need to call this uh, function create chat completion. And there you need to provide messages. So list of messages, which uh, are history of our history of our chat. So you can provide a system message. So that's what I have done. You need to provide a role and then content. So this is the standard format of providing messages. And then for user, I have asked it to write a short paragraph uh, introducing Elon Musk. So the response is uh, again a uh, dictionary as you can see. <clears throat> and in this case also you if you want you can set a stream to true and it will generate a one token at a time. So as this time as you can see the object is chat completion instead of a text completion. And inside of choices this time there is a parameter uh, there is a key name message where the dictionary is present with the response. So the role is assistant and the content is the total content of the query. And again, there is a usage details of tokens as well. So that's how we can retrieve the individual message choices of zero of message and that will return a dictionary. So we can use uh, this uh, particular response and ask a follow up question. So I'm again calling Llama to chat dot create completion and inside of messages, these two are same as previous and response of choices of uh, message so that's uh, this one the response from assistant which has written a paragraph about Elon Musk and then I have added again another message that uh, can you please rephrase your uh, previous response so I have asked it to rephrase this uh, Elon Musk paragraph that it has written and that will generate a new response and as you can see from the response, it's saying that, of course, here's a rephrase version of my previous response. And then it has uh, rewritten the paragraph uh, with uh, words uh, organized differently that uh, says about Elon Musk. So that's how you can use a chat completion. And over here, I'm retrieving the latest response and printing it.
so it's that easy to use a conversational model with uh, llama cpp python so at last let's talk about how you can use uh, how you can use llama cpp python to generate embeddings this can be useful when you want to create some rig application so the process is same again you need to import llama and then create an instance of llama with the model name and this time you need to set this parameter embedding to true and once you have done that you can call this function create embedding and over there you can provide a string and that will generate an embedding for that particular string so the response is again a dictionary and inside of that dictionary the data key has embeddings so inside of data it's a list and inside of that list there is embedding where the list of floats representing the embeddings of this string is present so you can also retrieve it so length of this embedding is 4096 so llama 2 generally generates embeddings of length 4096 now if you want to retrieve embedding of uh, multiple strings or multiple documents then you can give list over here in call to create embedding and separate each individual string by comma and then you can retrieve a response so response this time will be so embeddings of data this time will be list of uh, two embeddings so over here as you can see in data there was only one object but if you give a list of string then that will be two objects that's what i am printing length of two so zero is four zero nine six and one is four zero nine six so it's that simple to use a llama cpp python module to generate a response to single query and generate response to conversational ais and generate embeddings as well so that's it for today's tutorial if you have any doubts or any questions then please feel free to let me know in the comment section and see you next time